Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Earwalk. Earwalk is an adventure game that involves the ritual of the Earwalk, a kind of self spiritual journey. <laughs> In the old days, man tried to catch a glimpse of the future in the strangest of ways. They locked themselves in dark rooms, not partaking of food and drink. At the stroke of midnight, he ventured out into the night, through the dark woods, where strange creatures roamed. To see if they would be wealthy, to see if they would be happy, to see if they would live, to see if they would be loved. So we start at some kind of cabin. Just wandering the forest, I guess. It's like some kind of some kind of box and operates a bit like old telephones. Over here. Wait, was this? No, that's not a path. Footprints. Keep going straight. Walking around like this gives me a very weird perspective. Hello there. There you are. I've been waiting for you all day. Um, hello to you too. You should not go outside without a hat on a cold day like this. You will freeze your ears off. And I'm quite fond of the person those ears belong to. Did anyone see you coming here? I don't believe so. Those are ghosts. I wouldn't see them back. Now you're being silly. You know that I'm not ashamed of you. It's not that. I like you very much. But you and I come from different worlds. He's waiting for my answer. I said I'd give it to him next year. And this is the last day of this year. Now you're being unfair. This isn't any easier for me. I don't like it when you're like this. Calm down. You're walking? I hope you were joking. You do remember what happened to my cousin, don't you? Promise me, you won't do anything foolish. We are not supposed to know what happens in the future. You should hurry home to your cottage and get some rest. It's a very cool title screen effect. Let's see what am I doing here? I commit to your walk. I have actually read the encyclopedia for this game, and the year walk is described as some kind of spiritual journey to possibly see the future. That's interesting. And it's also described as being easy to screw up. That's also interesting. Amongst some other things in the encyclopedia were descriptions for various spiritual or mythological beings. 
Hmm. One of them sounded quite a bit like a Kelpie. Anyone here? Guess I'm not supposed to be here yet. I think I have a map. Going the wrong way. There we go. Kind of a creepy doll. Whoops. See, we just can't be a normal doll. You gotta spook me a little bit, huh? A bit of antisocial behavior. The movement of the arms and the music is obviously the clue to some kind of puzzle I haven't encountered yet. Like left, right, left, right, and so on. Goat key. vision of where the key is. There's never a goat shape right here. The description for that being, um... It reminds me of a, a Yukiona. There's also some other beings like that. And it seems to be kind of like how the one... I'm actually going to open the encyclopedia right now. Kind of like how the Brook Horse... And I'd say the, the Holdra. There's similar beings to them in other parts of the world with different names, but they act very similar. And I guess it comes down to how humanity likes to explain phenomena. Another rock. Don't like the eyes and the goat shape. Like, getting lost in the woods, especially in snow, and... I think hallucinations sometimes come with that, so it's... Kind of one of the things that would explain some of that stuff, and... Random drownings are also common, so you lead... Creation of things like the Kappa, and the Kelpie, and the, uh... The Brook Horse here. Hello there. Am I to follow you? I guess so. I am the key master. Are you the gatekeeper? Follower. Very nice aesthetic in this game. Very... comfy, actually. Yeah, the one doll had the blood on its face, but I didn't really see that as scary. It just seemed very ritualistic. So a lot of rituals have blood and stuff like that. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Freestyling owls. Rap is dead, rock is dead. We're all about owls now. Anyway, uh, puzzle. One, 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 two, three, two. Yep. It's a good thing I wrote that down earlier. You've entered the last woods. Find your way, Link, before you become a skeleton. I think this is where I have to go. I'm just gonna poke around a little. Hmm. I think it's this one. That sounds ominous. This sounds the most human. Like. Is that wrong? Most harmonic one. It's the correct one. Like this one. Yep. No. Off key. Generic noise. That sounds like it right there. I think we're almost there. There. I've solved your sound puzzle. Now reveal your secrets to me. <laughs> or just give me a jump scare. Spiritual beings are dicks. Going by the encyclopedia, she took a blood sacrifice. Not enough to kill me, but enough to spook you. We have the key. That's all that matters. It actually links up with the doll, which had a blood on its face. Like I said, it was... It's not designed to scare you, it's designed to be... Ritualistic to represent the uh, blood sacrifice to the uh, being. Hello there. <laughs> You're a dapper brook horse. Point dapper for someone who drowns children, anyway. Are these the spirits of your drowned children? What do you want me to do? Do you want me to bring you something or find them? I suppose so. Maybe that's something to do with the trees. Oh, and the encyclopedia changed. Yeah, the. These are the spirits of the children who've been killed. So... What the... Let's see... You want this. Right? So you want the other ones, then? So when was in my diary? Or my encyclopedia? 
The rest aren't in here, though. I'm not sure how the Brook Horse got a suit, but I'm not gonna question it. Maybe he just felt like wearing some clothes. Blood. There's a the kids nearby. In here. Gonna get him out somehow. There. Did I gotta drag you back manually, or can I just put you in my... No, I can't put you in my encyclopedia. Okay. Let's walk back. It's a little bit weird handling a ghost baby like this, but... I suppose I might not be quite human myself, so it's not out of the question. Ah, I see what these are. They tell me what to put in that one ruin. Symbols. Dun 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 dun. Let's try one. That's one eye. So I just gotta find one of the other rocks. Okay. Baby died near here. Windmill? What? Don't see anything. Whoa, wait. Cares. I don't even want to imagine how this one died. Alright. Three. And I already know where the other one is, so... Just right over here. Oh, God. I see you no longer open on your own. That's tricky. Just to imagine this baby might have been put in a kiln and... God, imagine if the kiln is fired up. It's awful. I brought your babies. Take them to the other side. I finally got the crow. Or something. Maybe I put this in the kiln. Oh, I know. I bring this into that one dark area. Cool. So that's it for Year Walk, Part 1. So far, an interesting enough game that uses mythology and little things like that pretty nicely. It had one kind of typical horror jump scare there. But for the most part, it's been pretty tasteful. Anyway, I look forward to seeing how this plot kind of rolls out. So, thank you all for watching and stay tuned for Year Walk Part 2.